Hello guys, welcome to my channel The Office Guys Tutorial. This is the second video of how to make seamless pattern in PowerPoint. In case you have missed my first video on how to make seamless pattern in PowerPoint, the link is given in the description box, you can go and check out. And also, you can click on the i button on the top right corner of the screen. So without any further delay, let's jump to the tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this seamless pattern in PowerPoint. Let's take a rectangle, come to the format option, and let us change its size to 5 by 5. Come to align option, align it to center and align it to middle. Now let's take a circle which you can see a tool here is oval. When you press shift and drag your mouse, you will get a perfect circle. Come to the format option, give it same dimension 5 and 5 and again align to center, align to middle. Now just for your reference, I am going to change this color of the circle. So select the circle and just change the color so that we can see it above the square. Now zoom in here, press the circle, press Ctrl D to duplicate and just move it carefully until it reaches a corner. So when you can see this line here, okay, so you can see these two lines here. Select the circle, press Ctrl D again and move the circle again. Make sure they are on the same line. Select these two again. Press Ctrl D and again drag it down. Make sure they are all in same line. Now zoom out. Select everything. So I will not press Ctrl A because if I press Ctrl A, this color scheme will also get selected. In case you don't have this, you can press Ctrl A. But for my case, I am not going to press Ctrl A. I will just select manually. So once you select, come to the format option, merge shape and choose fragment. Now everything is fragmented so you have to just delete. Select this circle and press the delete button on keyboard. Select this and press delete. So like that I will delete all the shapes which are not required. In fact I will delete the shape which is inside. So with this you can see we have four different shapes here. Okay guys. So now I will press ctrl z so that they will again come back to their original position. Now we will start with coloring it. So first make sure you select everything again and make sure you don't have any outline. Now I will choose this and I will give it shape fill color. I use the eyedropper and I choose this first color. Then I will select the second shape and I give it a color this one. Then I choose the third and I will give a color of the I will give the next color and similar way I will choose the fourth one and give it a blue color. So once coloring is done select everything and press ctrl G to make it a group and just reduce its size a bit. Now bring it to the corner here and just for now I will move this a little above so that we can work here. So select this and press ctrl D to duplicate and just place it carefully here and just again keep on pressing ctrl D. Okay. Now select everything and again press ctrl D and again just place it carefully. Yeah, so here we go and keep on pressing Ctrl D. Now we'll jump to the presentation mode and see how it looks. So here you can see you have a very good seamless pattern in PowerPoint here. In case you don't like this white background behind it, what you can do, right click on this gray part, come to the format background option, come to solid fill and you can choose this color. Okay. So now I'll again show you the preview. So here is how the seamless pattern in PowerPoint looks like. So that's all guys for today's tutorial. I hope you like the video. I have two more videos coming on my channel on how to make seamless pattern in PowerPoint. I hope you like the tutorial. Don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys.